Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can. And they continue with post-mortem blind. Now, I'm here in the basement of uh, the Alepin's home, uh, and I found this uh, alchemical riddle, uh, an alchemical formula. Uh, it talks about the different substances linked with, um, with different uh, celestial bodies. And then at the end it says, mm, Quoth Pythagoras, the universe is made but, uh, but by four numbers, and above this four there is but void and all can be. It is by this number that all can be, but to obtain this all, this number is not enough. It is by the squares of the elements that all will come to be, sum and square, and all shall be made of this. Now, this has some, this I'm pretty sure uh, has something to do with the measurements, because there are different measurements for the substances, uh, but I haven't, like, there are only four numbers that are obtained from those squares right here and that the squares themselves are linked with elements for example you have this and uh, the squares they are like kind of kind of like, like sudoku they are well not really like sudoku but they add to the same number uh, vertically horizontally and diagonally which in this case is 15 which is linked with the earth because you have those mountains here uh, then you have for example um uh, this is a four by four. Uh, let me, because I'm noting it down to to remember remember later. This was the smallest number, which is fifteen. This is five by five. Uh, so that's that's fire. That's fire. Mm. Where's my pen? Uh, Uh, let, let me note this down. Okay, so it's 65 linked with fire. Mm. So it's then... Uh, this has to be the air, right? Which is uh, 34. And then it's 175 for water. But what I don't get is how does this link with, uh, like, I guess those are the measurements, but how does this link with all of this? Uh, which is, you know, you have, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different substances uh, corresponding with uh, celestial bodies, but you only have four numbers and four elements. So, like maybe the planets somehow correspond to the elements as well. But if they do, uh, that's knowledge that I do not have. Like I would have to find a clue about how to link the planets with the elements or something. Which, to be honest. Uh, might be uh, something uh, that is related to this because there is this book uh, but I don't I, I can't do anything with it it's uh, it has those claws uh, but they don't do anything so I and, and I can't can't move uh, those circles so I assume by that that something is missing from here or I have to do something else before I can interact with this. Mm, so I think I'll go out, especially because, uh, you know, I've been thinking a little bit uh, about the plot, and I guess, uh, what's his name? Uh, um, Kofner, Dr. Kofner, who is the current supreme brother uh, of, the, of the Brotherhood, uh, he might actually be the Alepin uh, reincarnated. But, well, not reincarnated per se. It, it might. He might have 
the Alepin's soul inside him because uh, those are basically uh, the tombstones of all of the uh, all of the supreme brothers of the order and they go chronologically um, with the date of death of one of them uh, linking with the supposed birth or, or like reign I guess it's more likely to signify the reign as the supreme brother of the next one and it goes all the way uh, to the Alepin uh, himself somewhere over here um, Yeah, yeah, uh, Gregoire, Gregoire de Alepin. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, and there was this vision of, you know, there was another body here, and they were they were linked by some kind of an occult artifact, which might have been that head of Baphomet that they kept talking about. Um, and, and, and then you have this corpse, which, which is still lying here, but the other person is missing. So, uh, you know, it, it might be that it was actually successful and uh, he transferred his consciousness to the other body and then stood up and now is living as a uh, Kofner uh, but is still you know the supreme brother because uh, that's how their succession works um, so, so there, there is that and I guess that also explains why uh, you know I have those financial documents here um, financial documents uh, which I found in in this very house in fact mm. oh could not locate subject that's I, I'm pretty sure that's a bug or something uh, but it said uh, it said about the financial documents that they are different it, they, they have different handwriting from uh, you know from from the other things that I found that the Alepin wrote which, which makes sense if he switched bodies um, so maybe I can use this next document to sort of amend the, the fake letter of introduction uh, that uh, Berenika has uh, written for me um, and maybe then uh, I will be led into their library and maybe then I can find something about how the planets link with uh, with the elements or something because to be honest I do not rightly know I'm just walking around to make sure I didn't miss anything Mm. Okay, so those are the symbols of the planets, because uh, this is, for example, Venus, and I guess Venus is, is linked with water, uh, so uh, let me write this down. Mm, this is still locked, but the information is rather invaluable, actually. Uh, Would this be fire? I guess I have to do it by elimination. Uh, this is very clearly water, right? The waves. Uh, let me find the other doors. And then... Hmm. Would, would, they, would they be over the other doors on the upper floor? Uh, yes. Okay, so this would be fire, right? Which is linked with Mars um, and, the, and the male element, 
which I guess makes sense because um, because fire and water are opposites. Hmm. Okay, this is clearly Earth. I don't recognize the symbol for the planet. I don't know which planet it represents, but I'll just note down the symbol. Uh, the symbol, although I guess the Earth could represent the Earth, but I'm not sure if the Earth was even a factor in in that uh, document. I don't think so. Um, okay, so it's like an H with a T. Mm. And the, the last one was like a four, right? It kind of looked like a four, which is linked with the air. With the air. Um, but you know what? Before I go back and uh, tinker with the mixture uh, more, I will actually still leave and try to get to the library because it might get me more information that would be useful. So let's go here and talk with her again. Mac, I'm gonna start thinking you can't do without me. Did I forget something at your place? Baby, I need a small favor. I have to infiltrate the Brotherhood and I need a fake letter of introduction. Can you write me one using these documents? Again? Right. Come and see me later. Your letter will be ready. Okay, I wonder if it's enough if I just go to a different location and then immediately come back. Oh. Okay, I can take a look at my doormat. But I'm not sure what that gives me. do without me. Did I forget something at your place? Bebe, I need the letter of introduction. Is it finished? Here it is. Okay, let's try that. Although, I have to say, it's extremely suspicious to show up with a fake one first and then supposedly with a real one, like, a couple hours later. Oh, is this the fake one again? Are those different ones in, in my inventory? Um, okay, I have to pause for a second, be right back. Okay, I'm back. So there are two letters, so I guess this is the right one. Hopefully. I see. The orders rooms are at your disposal. Although, as I said, it is highly ridiculous, uh, because I've given him fakes two times now. Okay, this is like a chapel. is a library which is very interesting and potentially very useful. Uh, a humanistic treatise with several in uh, uh, no numismatic treatise with several il illustrations so it's about coins and currency. 
Okay, but I can't read that, which is a bit weird. Like, you'd think it would have something to do with the case, especially given the fact that uh, the, 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 the victims had coins stuffed into their mouths. Uh, 18th century copper coin, gold coin. Okay. Seems to me they would notice that, but what do I know? Will there be a silver coin in this? Mm, no. Okay, it's pretty weird that I cannot read this book. journal mm, a book on the Knights Templar uh, the book relates the principal dates in the Templar history the Templars were created during the conquest of Jerusalem on 16th of 16th of July uh, 1099 the Pope officially recognized them as an order on 14th of January 1128 which is the first of the dates in uh, um, what's his name Dupin, de lapin, in the in the guy's house on the on the stained glass window, uh, or, or or is it like a painting? Um, they built up power and influence throughout Europe over the next two centuries. They were accused of heresy by the King of France, uh, Philippe le Bel, and were arrested en masse on 13th of October 1307. Their last Grand Master, uh, Jacques de Molay was burned at the stake on 18th of March, 1314. Okay, so this is just... This is actually not that useful, because I guess this would be a clue to solving that riddle that I have already solved at the, at the sanctuary. Well, if I were to be pedantic, I would say people do still uh, speak Greek. It's it's just that the ancient Greek uh, is is not a is not entirely a language, or not at all, I guess, uh, a language that's, that's comprehensible to uh, modern Greek speakers. Like you, you actually um, learn it as a separate subject. If you're, uh, you know, if you're classically learned, you you study ancient Greek to read the original ancient Greek text. Which it m might uh, work a little bit in the other direction, I think, maybe, where if you know ancient Greek, you would probably be able to comprehend modern Greek to a degree by a process of, uh, you know, uh, Sort of a, li a little bit guesswork and and uh, knowing about the evolution of language. Mm, okay, that didn't help me as much as I thought it would, to be honest. Uh, let's go back to uh, the Alepana's house mm, and try to solve that riddle with the uh, uh, 
with the alchemy. Now, I'm still a bit confused by what is this supposed to help me with? You know, this, this photo by itself. Okay, so it would be what? Mm, 15 of the... of the strange 4, which is this. Uh, is there a 15? 1, 5, 25, 10, 15. No. So... Oh, but there is also a... Hmm. Okay, I will save, just in case I screw it. Um, okay, so 15 of this. Then uh, thirty four oh, wait. wait, 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 wait a second. I am a bit confused now. Mm. Oh, that was already wrong. Can I can I uh, just to be safe? I think I'll reload. Because it's actually mm, 15 of this. Oh, wait, I, I wrote it in such a confusing way that I cannot even... Uh, yeah, it's 15 of this. Then it's 34 of this, which is, I guess, uh, 25, uh, 5, and 4 times 1. Then it's 65 of this. And then it's 175 of this. So that's 100. Mm, mm, 150. So that leaves me with 25. Mm. 
Okay, I might have botched this because there is a high possibility I was supposed to light it first uh, and then add it rather than, you know, add it, add it as it is burning uh, rather than mix it up, mix it all first and uh, heat it later. Although I seem to have, seem to have created something. Best be careful. The wrong powder in the wrong quantities could spell disaster. Well, I guess I didn't create anything. So, hmm. so I guess I have to light it last because now I cannot even do it. I have to mix it first. So it is as I feared. The, there is a possibility that the the order is also important. Uh, so I don't think any of those is the sun. Uh, Mars is first. Um, I, I know Mars and Venus, but I don't know the symbols for the rest of them and how they do. How do they fit in here? Mm, brimstone for Mars, uh, green coral for Venus. Let's let's judge it by color. Uh, so this is Venus green and Mars. And then I have also to add the black thing and the and the blue thing, which is uh, lapis lazuli is uh, blue, famous ra rather famously. Uh, so it's this one, dried rose. Hmm. What would be black out of this? Mandrake root? I don't think saffron is black. Mm, and besides, the sun is the circle, right? I do know that. Uh, so, I think it's, it's the red brimstone from Mars first, uh, then the blue, then the green, and then the black at the end. Uh, mm, so... Uh, it was what, 65 of this. is the 4, which is 34. Five of this. Mm, 
and then finally it's uh, 15 No, oh, wait, I, I think I already screwed it. confused uh, by this predicament it's uh, red blue purple black which is what I did, right? Uh, unless the dried rose is black? S somehow? Like, if I knew which symbol is which planet, that would be a lot easier. Like, maybe it's on the... Uh, maybe it's displayed somewhere... Um, on the Astrolabium? Nope, I cannot even cannot even zoom in on it. Uh, let's try red, black, uh, red, black, uh, blue, and purple. Oh wait. Wait, 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 I'm just, I'm just stupid. I, it's not this, it's this. Th this is the wrong thing altogether. It's the, it's the green coral of Venus? Or something? Yeah, 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 okay. So I'm just dumb. So let's go uh, red, mm, blue, uh, red, red, blue, green, and black. Uh, so it's what? Uh, red, blue, green, and black. So it's 65 for uh, Mars. Which is the weird four, uh, which corresponds to this. So 175 of this mm, 
and then it's 15 of the black one. Okay, so I've created a vial containing purple gas. Now, I guess that's what he used to incapacitate them, right? Because there were... There, there were... Um, there were... Uh, what's the word? Uh, shards of glass? And he himself was wearing, like, you know, a plague doctor's mask. Uh, and, and nobody reported any screams or anything, so he like dazed them first with the gas and then decapitated them. Uh, okay, it, it's all falling into place, uh, kind of. Um, that was a very cool puzzle. I, I, I liked it. I, I stumbled with it a lot, but I think it was cool. I, I It utilized both looking at your surroundings um, and, you know, combining different information, uh, a bit of maths as well. Uh, so, um, yeah, that was that was cool. I, I liked that puzzle. However, I am still concerned about this. Like, there's clearly something missing because, for example, this claw doesn't have those those rolls. But but most importantly, I cannot move those circles. Mm, so you know, there is no actual interactive element other than lowering those clothes but it doesn't seem to do anything so it's as if i'm missing a certain element but where would i look for it like maybe maybe back at the brotherhood i missed something well, it's pretty sus to me is this photo like what purpose does this photo serve mm, in the game unless it's somehow a clue to that because the the files mention that uh, I always forget his name Dulepon, the guy in whose house I'm currently in uh, he had this this woman he was obsessed with, Adeline. Mm, so maybe it's somehow related to that. Hmm. Because other than that, was there anything in this room? I don't remember. Um. To be entirely honest. Oh, don't tell me I'll have to do it all again because I closed the door. Would be actually pretty infuriating if that was so. Interestingly, uh, th there is also an interactive icon uh, with the body, but I don't know what can I do with it. Oh, uh, 
okay, maybe I can take a photo of it. That, that, that could be somehow useful to the case. Because isn't the current case against Helua that he killed the Etons at the request of du du de, de Alepin? Or whatever, and he, if he was dead at the time already, maybe it's like, let's try it. Okay, okay, so I can take a photo, which is certainly useful for something, if the game allowed me to do that. I'm not entirely sure how it will come into the investigation, but a photogra photograph of Gregoire de Alepin's mortal, re mortal remains. Mm, okay, so now I just have to figure out what to do with the book. Like, I have to be missing something, it simply doesn't work. Okay, this is kind of bullshit. This is very nondescript. I'm not quite sure. Okay, this is... This is kind of bullshit. I do kind of call bullshit on that, but it's another ring uh, from the mechanism, um, and I guess it would be used to uh, a metal ring decorated with the letters of the alphabet. Okay, uh, that was a bit pixel hunty. I'm not a fan of that. But maybe the riddle itself, the puzzle, is going to be fun. The the, the last one with the mixture with the gas. It was actually kind of a cool puzzle, uh, but I'll check that out next time because this episode has been long enough, so I'm going to save and end it for now. That's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.